Let's do this Star Wars thing. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik. Holding it down one more time for PinnacleStudioPro.com. All right, so I've been getting a lot of requests for this one. I've been holding back, but I decided to go ahead and break it down for you. The Star Wars intro and the Star Wars credit roll in Pinnacle Studio. So let's jump off in the Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 19 Ultimate. Before I get started, I want to remind you of a few things. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, Click on that, it lets other people know that this content is good and that they should watch these videos. Comments. Leave me your comments, just drop me a line and say what's good. Or you can ask me a question. If I can help you, I will answer you. If I can't help you, I'll point you in a direction where you can get some help. And last but not least, subscribe. If you want to have Pinnacle Studio goodness and see some Pinnacle Studio love on a regular basis, you got to subscribe so that you know when I upload a video. If you don't, you'll be missing out. So let's get this Star Wars thing going on. All right, I got my playhead at the beginning of the timeline, so I wanna select the track that I want to utilize to place my first text into. So I'm gonna make sure that I click on that track over here on the left, and then I'm gonna click on the Create Title button. When I do that, it will create a title on that track. It'll open up the title editor. Now that the title editor is open, I want to go ahead and place my text in there. I have already typed up all of the text that I'm going to use so I can just copy and paste it in. So I'm going to copy my text off screen where you can't see, you know, a little privacy going on here. And then I'm going to do control A. That will select all of the text and then I'm going to do control V, which will paste the text in. Now, I need to get this text to the correct font, correct size and all the things that I want. So the first thing that I want to do is make sure that I have this align left. So I'm going to click on align text left. So next thing I need to do is select my font. So I'm going to do control A again to make sure that everything is selected. I'm going to click on my drop down arrow and I'm going to type a S because I know that my font begins with the letter S. And I'm going to scroll down until I get to serif gothic and I'm going to select that and it changes my font. And now I want to change my font size. So I'm going to click on the font size and I'm going to select 48. If it doesn't do it, I'll just type it in and hit enter. All right, so now I got the font that I want. All I want to do now is change the color of the font. So I'm going to go down here to face. I'm going to click on the fill. And you can find the, the color that you want, but I'm just gonna type it in because I know what the parameters are for this color. And click on apply. And that looks pretty good. So now I'm done with this, so I'm gonna click on okay. And I'm going to stretch out my timeline a little bit here. And I want to have a fade at the beginning and the end of this. So I'm just going to place my cursor up here until I see a little fold. I'm going to hold down my left mouse. I'm going to drag this out. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I want the fade to be a specific length of time. So I'm going to right click on it. Go to transition and then I'm going to click on edit and I want this to be one second long so I'm just going to type in one second hit enter and then click OK. I'm going to do the same thing here. Now I want to change the length of the title. So I'm going to right click on the title and go to adjust duration. And I'm going to change the duration to six seconds. Hit enter and then hit OK. All right, so let's make this smaller again.
Right, so I got that where I want it. So in Star Wars, when it comes on the screen, it, it fades on. So this little thing and then it fades out. And then it's, the screen's black for a few seconds. So I want to move this to where I want that big Star Wars to come onto the screen. And I guess that's pretty good there. I'm going to put a marker here just in case I move something and something goes out of place. So by clicking on marker, it's going to add a marker right where I put my playhead. So now that I got my playhead where I want it to be, I'm going to select the track above and I'm going to click on create title. So I have the text that I want copied. So I'm going to do control A. Now I'm going to do control V. Now I'm going to do control A again to select everything. I want it to stay centered. So I'm going to leave this on align text center. I'm going to click on the drop down for the font type. And I'm going to type S because I know that the font I want is called SF Distant Galaxy. I'm going to click on that. And the size of the font that I want is going to stay where it's at. So now I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to click on face to change the color. And once again, I know the numbers, so I'm just going to type those in. All right, so I'm good with that. So now I need to create the fly in just like in the movie. So I'm going to click on motions. And then I'm going to click on enter. And here I wanted to do page from behind so that it jumps onto the screen. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to come down here to the motion and place my cursor over this little pill and turn it turns into two lines. I'm going to hold down my left mouse and I'm going to drag this to about the middle of the title. Then I'm going to come back up to the motion section and I'm going to Click on exit because now I need to make it go into infinity. And I'm going to select page to infinity. And now I'm going to do the same thing. Instead, I'm going to drag this to the left so that when I scrub my playhead across here, you'll see it comes onto the screen and then it goes away. All right. So the next thing I need to do is I want to make the word Star Wars closer because in the movie they kind of sat right on top of one each one another. So I'm going to highlight the word wars because that's the only piece I want to move. And then I'm going to go to offset Y and I'm going to left click here and move this to the left a little bit so that it comes down. So I have mine at negative four. That looks good exactly where it's at. So I'm going to click on OK. And now I want to adjust the length of this title. So I'm going to right click on it. Go to adjust duration. And I want this one to last about 12 seconds. So I'm going to type in 1200, hit enter, and then hit OK. So now when I scrub my timeline, you'll see a little a long time ago comes on, it goes away, and then this jumps onto the screen. All right, and then it goes away. So we got all of that set up. So now we need to set up the words that flow and the the crawl or the roll for Star Wars. So I'm gonna move my playhead to where I want that to begin. 
and I want it to come in like right as this is going away. So I know that most titles takes a few seconds to come onto the screen, especially a row. So I'm going to start it here and I'm going to place once again, a little marker here. So I know where I'm going to be starting off my title. I'm going to click back on this timeline track and then I'm going to click on create title and it will create a new title on that track. And since I already have my text copied, I'm going to do control a, and then I'm going to do control V copy that in. Now I'm going to do control a again. And this time I'm going to use justify text. So I'm going to click on justify. And for this text, I'm going to click on the text drop down. I'm going to type a T and I know that I'm looking for a trade Gothic LT. And then right now I'm going to make my text small. I'm going to make it small so that I can see the grab points here and I can barely see them right here. And I'm going to left click on here and drag my text in some. Before you do this, make sure that this is white, not orange. If this is orange, it's going to wrap your text around it. You don't want it to wrap your text around. All right. So that now I got this into the viewable section. I like it like that. So now I'm going to come back, click up here, do control a, and now I'm going to change my font to the font that I want, which is 68. Not 16, 68. There you go. All right. So now that we got that, let's go ahead and change our colors. I'm going to make it the same color as the Star Wars. And now I want to add some motion to this. So what I'm going to do is go to motions. And now I'm going to go to emphasis. And I'm just going to do roll up. So now if, if I scroll here, you can see what, how everything looks, looks pretty good. I got a few issues with the text on here, so I'm just going to find where those are. All right, so now that we got everything fixed up on here, I'm going to click on OK. And now this, I want to be pretty long because of the music and I have to have to scroll and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to right click on this title and go to adjust duration. And I'm going to type in the duration that I want and click on OK. So now let's see Star Wars goes off the screen and this comes on and it starts to get its scroll on so far so good only got one more piece left to do and then you will be in star wars heaven so for a title if you double click on it it's gonna like open up the title but if you right click on it you can select open effects editor so that's what we want to do so i'm going to click on open effects editor i'm gonna go to 2d 3d And I'm going to go to two, I'm sorry, 3D editor CPU. So I want to place my cursor somewhere where I can see the words on the screen. 
And I want to change this from default to no preset. So now I can see the words here. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go down here to size. And I want to make sure that the link parameters slider or lock is unlocked. And so I'm going to click on height and I want to change the height. I want the, num the letters to look longer because they're going to have to look longer as they go across the screen. All right, so got my letters where I want them. So now I want to go to position. And then under position, I want to go to position Z. And I want to change this to push everything back a little bit. So change my position where I want just to move it back some. And then I want to go to position Y. And just kind of change that, move things in the space a little bit. So you can use these same numbers I'm using if you want to. You can use something different. The last thing I'll need to change here is, is the rotation. So under rotation, I want to go to my X rotation. And I want to change that to make the video turn in the X axis, right? So now you can see the little Star Wars dealio going on. Now, if you like need to see like for you made like a different size fonts and stuff like that, then you might want to start off with the rotation X position and then do the other ones after that. It's looking good. I like how it looks. I like how it looks. So now just click on OK. And that's it, Pinnacle Studio peeps. The Star Wars intro. Take a look and check it out. All right, guys, you know the routine. The thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Yes, show the thumb some love. Comments, if you leave me comments, I will respond. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And last, but definitely not least, subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you'll be missing out every time I upload a video and then you won't be able to get this Pinnacle Studio love that I'm bringing to all of my Pinnacle Studio peeps. So subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.